Yo, so the other day I posted a group chat thread between me and some homies. Basically what I shared was, yo, I'm overthinking about creating, what should I do? And my friends were like, do it, have fun, right? And then the comment section was a whole bunch of people sharing advice or asking questions or giving opinions about a bunch of different stuff. And it was so strange because as I was reading through them, I realized like, yo, this is just confusing. Now don't get me wrong, most of what was said was like very, very encouraging and helpful. What hit me about it was just how much we overcomplicate the freedom and joy and gift of being able to create. If you're not a Christian and you're watching this, you're about to get some insight into like cultural beliefs that a lot of Christians have, all right? You, you, you're probably gonna enjoy it, you might learn something, we'll see. If you're fortunate enough to have a father raised, you, mom, dad, guardian, if you go to the park and there's all these jungle gyms and swing sets and all this stuff, did they ever tell you, yo, go swing on that swing set right there. I don't want you on any other swing set. No, they're like, hey, go play, go have fun. So many Christians try so hard to figure out what they need to do to please God that they end up doing nothing at all. The connection I'm trying to draw here is the freedom that we have to create, to do things, to make things, to work, to share things with people. We got to chill out, all right? We're doing too much. We have the earth and all of its natural resources. And what we're to do is to take those things and cultivate an awesome culture that glorifies God. It's that simple. A lot of times we overcomplicate it with a whole bunch of hyper spiritualized stuff that's just not what's even reflected in the Bible. So I'm gonna share something that's really helped me just sort this out. You wanna read it yourself, it's in the book of 2 Corinthians. You go check it out, uh, chapter two, here we go. Verses 12 and 13. When I came to this city called Troas to preach the good news of Jesus Christ, he opened a door for me to do that. He gave me an opportunity to do it. but. I didn't have any peace of mind because I couldn't find my homie Titus there. So I left and went to Macedonia to find him. So this dude, his name was Saul. He was known for literally killing tons of Christians. Mind you, this is after Jesus was historically recorded to have been crucified. And he has this experience where he sees Jesus and it totally changes his whole life. He was called to share the good news of Jesus Christ wherever you went, right? So you'd imagine, or you might assume that like anything outside of that would just be wrong, the wrong thing to do, disobedience. When God tells you to do something, like there's nothing better you could do, right? So to bring it back, he couldn't find his friend. So he leaves. Now, if you are a Christian, you might be thinking like, yo, how is that not disobedient? That had to be wrong, right? Like, I don't understand. Aren't you supposed to do exactly what God calls you to do? Yes, 100%, absolutely do it. But if you look in this passage, the Lord never told Paul to go to this city. He went there on his own. When he got there, Jesus opened a door for him, knowing he was going to leave. That just shows how faithful and sovereign the Lord is in everything that we do. There's another time where he's like, don't go to that place. Actually, go here because there's somebody I want you to meet there. In those instances, the Lord gives him clear directions of what to do in the moment. Everything else is freedom. In your freedom in Christ, if you are truly surrendered and submitted to him, you're going to want to do what pleases him. We have so much more freedom than we are aware of. And people get scared of that. There's so many times where we are like, I personally would be like, oh, what do I do? I don't know what to do next. I don't want to be, I don't want to do the wrong thing. I want to do the right. Be free. You're free. As it pertains to content creation, art, or your job, or your work, we have the freedom to take the gifts that we are given, the freedom that we're given, and just do stuff, create stuff, share stuff with people, and do it excellently. So all that being said, the stuff that you're gonna start seeing on my profile will be all, it's gonna be like a box of chocolates. I, you don't know what you're gonna get. We on some Forrest Gump over here. Funny skits and videos, rambling and ranting, sharing heartfelt stuff that I'm learning, sharing stuff that the Lord showed me in scripture, cause I love getting in the word, bro. Whatever it might be. But I'm gonna create stuff. Cause I'm tired of overthinking, man. If, if an apple tree were to be conscious, it would know like, yo, I produce apples. Like. That's not arrogant, it's an apple tree, bro. It's supposed to produce apples, like, duh, of course. I'm able to make people laugh and bring joy and share perspectives on things from my own unique experiences with the mind that the Lord has given me. I'ma do that, bro, what? And I'ma do it well. Are you kidding, look at, this is, this is the Bible verse on my uh, mirror. You see that? That's, that's, that's Colossians 3 uh, verses 23, 24. It says, whatever you do, do it in excellence and fullness of heart, 
as something done for the Lord and not for men, knowing that he will give you your mighty inheritance. You are serving Jesus Christ. That's what I'm doing, all right? And I'm going to do it well. Love y'all. Peace. Wait, is there anything else I want to say? No.